Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 19 Xiaomi Rover Screen Mode. Uh, today we begin April and uh, in this episode we take on Mansfield at Field Mill and um, we travel to Bloomfield Road, take on Blackpool three days later and it's a week gap before we welcome the gas uh, Bristol Rovers come to Preton Park. Uh, looking at the league guys, we had a really really good episode last time around. We won every game and uh, I mean it was needed because <laughs> the previous episode we lost every game. But it's forged a lead uh, that's looking insurmountable now. We're 10 points clear of Barnsley, who kept pace with us all season and just started to drop off. Uh, 11 points clear of Bolton and Rotherham. And um, the other side's below, also on Scunthorpe. We don't need to worry about that. We're 20 clear with 21 available. So uh, being 10 points clear, three games in this episode, guys. We can actually secure promotion this episode. And uh, if that's the case, I'll probably just sim the whole of next um episode because you know we'll all be up then i have no issue with simming once we are promoted as the games after that are largely fruitless uh we we may indeed even win the title guys this episode uh we do need to make some changes though morris is a bit fucked uh we're gonna oh my god and paddy's still injured isn't he so looks like monte is even more fatigued come after the evan gums who comes in guys he's been a bit sketchy whenever he has played this season uh we're gonna rest Kleber, bring in Ferrier. Uh, Pintilli looks like he's probably going to have to stay in. Yeah, Jesus, they really are all fatigued here, guys. It's, it's going to be a bit of an ugly game, I think. Uh, Archie Alexander elsewhere will come out for maybe Hugh. If you just stick Hugh on the right-hand side, see what happens, guys. I'm not too sure how it's going to go. Uh, Pintilli's going to play in camp. A bit more fatigued, so um, I think it's better to have him in camp. And we're going to hop straight in, guys. See how we get on. Let's make it four wins in a row in the league. Looks like all hands to the defensive pump. At least they've got two forwards. Yes. And uh, hopefully Perry, they will hopefully get some ball free. Jimmy, oh, what a turn from James. He could be away here, boys. Norwood. Oh, it goes in. The guy fucking uh, went in for a challenge. It looked like he'd fouled us anyway. But Jimmy Norwood straight away, boys. Just four minutes of the game. Puts us 1-0 up, and uh, it was all about that turn. A great work from Perry as well, lest we not forget. He did really well to um, get ahead of the men, feed it in, but what a turn that is, boys. Completely turns out the, takes out the centre-back. The, uh, the full-back comes across, takes him out, but it doesn't matter. James puts his 1-0 up, his 21st goal in the league. And uh, what a start, boys. Good shit. So now he's just going to bang this, boys. Oh, it's safe from me laying it. Get on that club. Well done, lad. It's not even clever. It's TK. Oh, it's out. Not too far, though, towards Jimmy. And there he goes with the chip. And now Lennon gets a touch on it. It's still alive, boys. We're all over this shit so far. Pintilli. Oh, I should have passed it. I don't know why I didn't, boys. Oh, well, I do. I started holding in shoots already, but I didn't react in time to cancel it. Still we come, lads. Oh, Mansfield will eventually get this away. Not too much, though. It's Pintilli. Alexander, Norwood. James. Well done, Jimmy. Bang it. Norwood again. Oh, he makes it too, guys. Sustained period of pressure. Mansfield just haven't dealt with us all game. Jimmy Norwood's on a hat trick inside 15 minutes. What a start to this game. We've been winning everything. Every time they clear it, we just ping it back in. And uh, eventually the ball does fall to Jimmy Norwood again. He just turns this guy left and right. They got really lucky to fair. It was a good block then. Two of the players collided. Bounced perfectly for Jimmy. But he's still had work to do. But it's Norwood. He does the business. Puts in the bottom corner. It's uh, Mansfield Town nil. Tramier is two. Threads it through. Played in the clear. Put in from the wide area. Oh, put in deep. Oh, First time Mansfield have been up, really. McDonald, oh, he feeds it across. Well, and Rose gets one back across. straight away, boys. I think every shot's gone in so far. Every shot on goal, anyway. Uh, oh, no, I'm chatting. <laughs> we did have a couple of saves that their keeper drew out. But Danny Rose, who scored against us the first game of the season when we played Mansfield, the finishes scoreline, incidentally, 2 on to us. He's done it again. And uh, once more, is Mansfield 1, Tramia 2. Really disappointing because it's the first time they've done anything. And unfortunately, they do get a route back into this game. On to Pintilli. Oh, someone's an acres here, boys. It's you. Go on, you. Bang it, lad. Oh, save from Eleni. Jimmy. Back to Ferrier. 
Oh, inside to James. For the hat-trick. No wood. Oh, good save from Hellenic again. So, half time, guys. It is Tramia. Uh, two on up away from home. And uh, it should have been more, really. Mansfield, I'm pretty sure, only had the one shot on goal. Uh, they had two, apparently. But look at this, boys. We were all over it going forward. That game were really good. Uh, the half, sorry. 12 shots to their two. Nine in target to their two. Alenic made a number of good saves. Uh, they had much better the pass, actually. We had the only corners of the game. Keep playing like that, guys. Uh, we should see this out pretty comfortably. Tonali holds it off. Good playoff. Oh, and the finish is dynamite, boys. From uh, Is that me hyping Tilly? Yes, it is. Get in, lad. This guy's scored so many goals this season. He's retiring uh, towards the end of the season, guys. So this may well be one of his last games that we play with him. And uh, it's... Just a damn shame that he is retiring, guys. I fucking love this guy. The free agent god from last season puts another one in. And it's his 10th of the season in the league. Makes it to double figures. Uh, more importantly, guys, puts his 3-1 up. Gives us a bit of breathing space. And this game should be in the bag now, I think. Come on, Sandro. Tonali. Oh, it's blocked. What the fuck have they done, boys? Oh, my God. I still nearly missed. It goes in off the post. What the fuck? Have you seen the like of it before, lads? That is tragic for Mansfield. If we get Zaki, he gets the goal. He's only just come on. It is Zaki. Oh, my word. It wasn't the best of free kicks. I'll tell you something now, actually. If we've got a bit more on, that is going in. But I under-hit it from Tonali. Oh, the keeper got a really dodgy ball back. But Alenic has had a great game. It's so unfortunate. I literally took that shot with my hand off the uh, the aim. The, the left hand off stick. I nearly did miss it. But Aki does make it 4-1. And um, it's a deserved scoreline. It's acrimonious the way the goal went in. But... 4-1 is really reflective of our dominance here, boys. No, well done, James. Our ball's on. Tonali, I might be offside. It's not. Kleber makes it five. Get in, lads. Kleber, who came off the bench, uh, just like Haki, gets himself on the score sheet. And um, super subs, guys. It's on. Who's the other one I brought on? I think it was Cameron Morgan. Let's get him a goal now. I don't think I've ever scored with every sub that's come on. Uh, but it's on. Good play from uh, Morgan. Played into Jimmy. Feeds it on to Tonali. And uh, as I said, I thought it might have been offside. That must have been really marginal. But in the end, they did time it to perfection. Kleberg has his fourth goal of the season. And I was right. He did go away from Mansfield. 5-1 now. This is tied for our greatest win. Uh, can we beat this record, lads? We've got 10 minutes to get one more. This record, oh no, there's not. Uh, full time then. Still happy with that, guys, of course. Uh, it finishes 5 1 to Tramia. And uh, really did put the stags to the sword that game, lads. Um, I don't think they did anything second half. Right, they had one shot. It wasn't on target. But look at this. It's one of the most dominant wins we've ever had. 18 shots to their three, 12 on target to their two. Elenic had a good game. Save his mistake. Um, Ratings are going to be off the chart here, guys. Uh, just incidentally, we improved that pass accuracy. We didn't have another corner in that half. They stayed the same. Uh, 9.5, Tonali gets him on the match. Closely followed by James, gets a 9.4. Uh, TK got 9.1. So did Pintilli. 8.9s for Ferrier and Hugh. 8.8 uh, for Aki. 8.2s for Kleber and Tamas. And 8.3s for Gums and Lovren. Almost everyone played an 8 then. Uh, so really good shit, lads. Uh, Banshee, I'm surprised, only got a 7.7, I thought he did more, but uh, whatever, goals go for Norwood, Menezes, uh, Aki and Pintilli, James got two, I should say, uh, two assists for Tonali, one for Hugh and one for Pintilli, there was one point after that episode where we lost every game, where I thought, oh don't choke now boys, if we go out on the quarterfinal of both cup competitions and don't go up, it'd be a, a real choke of the season, but We've arrested that with four wins in a row and edge closer to going up, lads. Barnsley lost again. Barnsley have just capitulated. Bolton are now in second. We're 11 clear of them. 13 clear of Barnsley in the all important uh, top two spots and 14 clear of Rotherham, who also suffered defeat. But, um, oh, man, you know, we are really fatigued. Holy shit. Norwood drops out for Brewster then. Blanche will drop out for Ricky. Cox will come in for sure. He'll start, in fact, plays off to Nali. Pintelli drops out for Aki. Uh, Mate comes, in fact, Lebe can start. Chiaco on the bench. Then uh, drop him out for Tamas. 
Collins comes in, Monte comes in for TK. Let's give Shamal George a game, guys, why not? He hasn't played in fucking ages. Barely appeared this season. That looks okay, I think. Maybe Tonali off the, uh, out of the bench in place of this guy, uh, Hugh. Yeah, I think we're good to go, lads. So, really weak in team. It's going to be hard. But if we play like uh, a half as good as we did last game, in fact, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll smash these. Rian. Klebe. Oh, Klebe. That was not far off. Great strike, mate. Unlucky, lad. Just yes, wait for that, Brewster. Great ball. He takes it down. Oh, no, boys. Oh, ball's on here, boys. Klebe. Oh, I went for the stupid chip. Look at Dickhead. And no, no, you can't be doing that. What was I doing, boys? <laughs> so, half time, it is Blackpool nil, Tramia nil. Uh, they're proving to be much sterner test than Mansfield last game, but we are still unlucky to be going in at nil nil there. We did at the post, we had a number of other chances. Uh, dominated the game, as you can see there, boys. They had the better possession, actually, slightly. But we had eight shots there, two, four on targets there, one. Uh, of course, one of them was on target, did hit the post as well, so about as close as you can get. We had the only corners of the game, three turn on. Did the better of the pass accuracy. Uh, if we keep going, I feel like we can get this win. Well, they're building steadily. Brewster. Oh, shake out nothing that. really, boys. I just thought, fuck it. I had no options. And it was a good save yet again by the Blackpool keeper. The keepers have been on form against us so far. Header from Cox. And it is cleared by Paul. Chance here, boys. Ball fed in to Archie. Just going to strike it. Good save again from Howard. Fucking hell. Just have a day off, mate. Oh, what a ball, boys. Toe Sullivan. Oh, he put it wide, thank God. Here's Davis. Davis. Looking back from Mate. He's still got it. Have nothing. Look back for him. And it's Paka. He put it in. Yes, boys. The two of them. It, mate and I think it was Ricky. Just kept bundling. Uh, uh, fucking scrapping away. Bundling through people. Little one-twos. Every pass in that run, basically. I was thinking, oh, we've lost that there. The black hole are going to get on this shit. Somehow we get a bit of luck with that. Mate gets in the way. That pass I didn't think he was going to get to. But Mate comes off the bench. What a finish that is. Top corner. It looks like he's going to leave uh, in the window, guys, because he was asking to go. So that might well be his last goal for us. But a really important one. 87th minute. It's not been a great second half. It's been god awful, in fact. Uh, we played well, three halves out of three this episode. But then this is the worst one. Uh, despite that, though, I'm happy enough. We take a late lead and a. Should be enough if we can hold out for three important points. Right, and that's our finishes. That's finishes. Blackpool nil, Tramir is one. And um, yeah, second half wasn't vintage, but still enough to get over the line. We had 14 shots to their four in total, nine in target to their two. So for the second game in a row in this episode, we just absolutely dominated. Uh, we tied possession in the end. They had the better pass accuracy. We had four corners to their one. Man, the match goes to Ricky Davis, gets an open three. Uh, Kleber gets an 8.1, Archie an 8, and I'm going to ask over an 8, perhaps surprisingly. Oh, beg your pardon, mate got an 8.1. It was his goal, the assist for Ricky. Time for another training session, guys. Uh, we're going to train Isaac Alexander on 2, Maris on 2, and Ferrier on his 1 yet again. And Isaac goes up, makes it to his 61, he gets 2 Bs. Uh, Morris and get, oh, sorry, Morris gets to B and a C. And uh, Ferrier also gets a B, so a good training session there all around. So looking at the league, going into the final game of the episode, guys, we're into Bristol Rovers. Um, we have 13 point lead over Bolton, 14 over Rotherham still. Um, now 15 point lead over Barnsley, who did absolute bits all season. They've matched us until about March. Um, <laughs> they're going to do a Tottenham. Spurs in real life finished third, of course, in a tourist race a couple of years ago. Um, Barnsley may well finish fourth, which is absurd there were so many points clear of Bolton and Rotherham along with us a lot of the time on occasion more points clear than us uh, they were top for quite a number of weeks uh, yet they are too clear uh, too shy of Bolton and 15 shy of us so Barnsley with that goal difference uh, so much better for us can't really catch us anymore I feel and uh, we know that with 13 point lead and just 15 left available, we win against Bristol Rovers and we win the title, guys. So this could be it. The last game of the episode, uh, the series, not the series, fucking, I'll get it right eventually. The last game of the season, perhaps, guys. Uh, because, <coughs> excuse me, if we do win the title here, 
I'm, uh, I'm just going to sim every game next episode, and it'll just be a case of working through the end of season admin shit. Fully 15 then, guys. Uh, Kleber is a bit petite. Me hyping Tilly might well be the last game I play with him then, so... Oh, me hi. It's been a pleasure saving my face. Same with Lovren as well, actually. That's something I forget. I'm letting Lovren go in a contract uh, that's just not been renewed, to be fair. So it's not quite the same, but... Uh, yeah, let's, let's hope they go out in style, guys, with a nice win. Well, like all his team, he knows that this could well be the day. If they win, they're champions. Watch yes, us, Martin. And it's live. Focus on TK, uh, the captain. Will he lift it today? I don't even know. I don't know if they do. Like, let you lift it when you win it, or you have to wait till the end of the season. If that's the case, guys, internally, I, I just say, I probably won't play the last game of the season. I did last year when I'd already won the title, just see us lift it, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> it's like, it's League One. It's, it's not vintage. It's not a first trophy either. Um, hopefully, we do lift it today anyway. 22 goals in the league. Find an opening. Not oh my god. How the fuck's that gone all the way through, lads? Bennett scores for it's Bristol Rovers, unfortunately. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> In a game where we know a win will get us a title, guys. Unfortunately, we do fall behind. Decent ball in, but oh, two players could get on that. In the end, it moves straight through. Even then, Fructal could maybe have done better. Just doesn't close down the angle enough. And Kyle Bennett does put Bristol Rovers 1-0 up. We know he has pace. Oh, he fed it inside. Delightfully honest. Just wide from Fanch, unfortunately, boys. Martin saying what a miss. So I don't think it was an easy chance. Um, so I think it's a tad unfair. And it's not too far wide, but definitely... Uh, it was a big opportunity wasted there. Riley. First touch was poor. Archie. James. Oh, big opportunity here. Yeah. Surely this time. Clever. Oh, it's a oh, save again. Here. Fuck's sake. He keeps them right on it today. He can cross it now. Oh, the opposition keepers anyway. Jesus. Clever. Hit that Sandro. Good block. Sandro. Clever. Yes, Clever. Yes. He's fucking getting in amongst the goals recently, guys. It really is. I was bemoaning a striking a few episodes ago, I remember. But Kleber gets his fifth of the season, his second of the episode. He could have had a number of them against... Uh, who is it? Mansfield or maybe Blackpool, I don't know. But that's a good strike. Good work from Tonali to keep it alive. Keeper gets a touch, but the strike was fierce enough that it sailed in. Kleber equalises, guys. Big goal. It doesn't matter, to be fair. We know if we win, uh, we do get home. I'm on the wrong thing here, lads. Bear with me. One second. I'll tell you how the facts went. Uh, it was a bit more even. They gave us more of a game than the other two teams did. Uh, we had five shots there, two. Both had two on target. They edged possession slightly and the shot. Uh, pass accuracy. No corners. So, uh, Rovers proven to be a bit more stubborn opposition to break through. Um, but... We have the quality to undo them, lads. We've seen that. And uh, we'll go chasing this next winning goal. Pain. The pain train. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, boys. Riley put it in. It was a nice little header on. I should maybe have got to that. And uh, Rovers continue to frustrate us. They've, uh, they've been tough to break down. And the wingers are doing bits. Bennett and whoever pulled this one in. Is it Bennett again? Because if it is, he's fucking roasting me. Nice header on. TK can't get across in time. Oh no, that's a really, really smart finish. Quite a bit. Oh, oh he scrapped away. We still got it. Oh, and in the end, strike straight to the keeper from, uh, I think it was Archie. Thomas Brewster. Quite a bit. James. Clever. Again, we just went for the strike. Feet to back. Oh, and the goal from Ryan Brewster, boys. Yes. He did a little, he looked like the most unnecessary little bunny hop then, I swear to God. Like, like it was a bicycle kick, but it just wasn't the way he took it up. 
But um, we kept Clever on, despite fatigue, as I said. He's, he's been well, sensational this episode, every game. And uh, he did bits then. Got a bit of luck, actually, getting back. But yeah, what the fuck was the point of that, Brewster? <laughs> I mean, it is a bicycle kick, actually, to be fair. But, like, the shittest one I've ever seen. But I don't care, it's an important one. Two old guys, a uh, really good game. This has evolved into. And uh, can a side get a winner? We're going to go for it. The chance of break? Oh no, it's not. It's full time, guys. We do draw off two all with throw. Is a uh, it's exact same scoreline as the reverse fixture. Actually, we drew with these twice. Was it enough? Uh, no, I skipped it by mistake anyway. But I don't think we did left the trophy then. It looks like Bolton did win. Uh, Clever gets man the match. Unsurprisingly, as I said, he was by far, oh my word, the best player we had. So now he got an eight point two. He's the only one who got anywhere near. Uh, although I haven't said that, Brewster got a seven point nine. Got himself his goal. Along with Kleber, assist for Kleber and Tonali. So another training session, uh, we get C's for Alexander and Morris and uh, D for Ferrier. I'm just looking at that league table there then. Uh, yeah, we, we haven't won it this episode uh, just yet. Uh, Lo Barnsley lost again, I'm my word. Uh, we're 11 clear of Bolton, 12 clear of Rotherham. I mean, we've effectively gone up. I think our goal difference is so much better than Rotherham's. Yeah, it is. Look at that, boys. We've conceded two more, but scored 20 more. So 18 goal difference better. Uh, they'd have to win four games. We'd have to lose four games. And it'd have to be an 18 goal swing. Not a chance in hell is that going to happen. So we have gone up this episode, lads. Um, I mean, let's face it. We've basically won the league. We're 11 clear of Bolton. But I will play one game next episode down. I'll just sim the others. Um, just around. round it. Fuck no. I probably will sim them all, lads. Let's face it, I'm 11 clear. I hope you can forgive me for simming a whole episode. But um, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to go up. Uh, so that will be next episode then, guys. Until then, we'll take on and we'll sim them all. Uh, against Walsall away. Luton Town away. Uh, oh, God. Donny away. Have we got another game of Prem Park? Yeah, the final one is better now. I can't even be asked playing that to see us lift the trophy, guys. I'm just going to get the season done and dusted. Uh, don't really like the idea actually of simming a whole episode, guys, but it'll still probably make like the time period for Sims and all the administration stuff. I just want to get the season done. We are 11 clear of Bolton, 12 of Rotherham. We've effectively gone up already, so hope you can give me for that. Really good episode, then. Uh, seven points out of nine will do us. Uh, plenty of goals as well. So until next time, guys, hope you did enjoy this episode. I'll see you again very soon.